If you want to buy yourself some cheap Ultimate Team coins, make sure to go and check out igvault.com and use a discount code EGHD at the checkout to get yourself 6% off your order. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be looking at the top five SBCs that you can be doing right now. So all of these are the advanced SBCs which are available throughout the entire of FIFA 22 or they have been for like the last five years or whatever. So they should be available. They haven't actually changed much at all this year. Um, so for those of you that are not really big fans of doing SBCs or maybe uh, you just want to complete the SBCs that are profitable, um, I have made all of them for you today. Uh, um, I've put them into a top five as well so that um, if you complete these in order, you can't run out of coins. You have to do something terribly wrong, like just discarding your, your entire pack or something to lose out on coins. If you sell everything that you get in your packs, you will 100% come out of this with profit. Or at least, let's say 99%, because I know that 1% of you are going to be in the comments saying I lost coins. Although, on the video I made last year, pretty much everyone was saying thanks for letting me know about these. So that's why I'm recreating this video. So let's kick things off. It's actually hybrid nations. Now, as I said, you want to complete these in the order that I tell you to complete them in because um, I've ordered them kind of which ones are most rewarding on a singular basis. So let me just explain to you what I mean by that. So as you can see, we've got the hybrid nations here. We've got four SBCs. You get a pack for completing each SBC, but you also get a group reward SP for, for completing the whole group, right? Um, I'm just showing you which ones individually are great values. So we're gonna start off with Elite Eight. This is very, very popular. And the reason why I like this SPC is that you can use literally La Liga just like this and none of these players are gonna be price fixed. Um, something that I've noticed this year, the pack weight is quite high, uh, you know, compared to previous years. So there's lots of choice as well when completing this SPC. It's gonna cost you around 8,000 coins, sometimes even close to 6,000 coins. When you buy players is uh, gonna affect the price. So if you're doing this in peak times, like 6 p.m. UK time, that's when most packs are being opened and it's harder to price fix fix things. Now through the night time, early morning, that is like prime time for the potential for some of these to be price fixed a little bit more. If they sell for 800 coins, they might be 1200 coins. Uh, but as you can see, this is a very, very affordable squad. The good thing about this, and when you want to go onto Footbin and look for SPCs, is make sure that they aren't like loads of like green links, basically. If there's green links, it means that you most likely have to go down the route of picking a particular player. So let's go through this. We've got Aorta, Nacho Vidal, Abram, Dominguez, Duarte, Kevin Rodriguez, Guardado, Coquelin, Capu, Kubo, Avila, and Junior. Let's see if I've got any um, first owners. So all of these are bought apart from the striker, Avila. I must have had him in the club uh, whilst I was completing this, but you will get the 88 chemistry that you need. Um, I've actually got 98 chemistry here, so you've got way too much chemistry than we need. And what we get in return for this is actually going to be a, a prime gold players pack, which turns out to be a 45k pack. So for about six to 8,000 coins, well, actually, I think closer to 8,000 coins, let's say, um, you're going to get a 45k pack in return. You can't go wrong with this. You cannot lose coins. So let's go ahead, send this off and see what we get in the pack. So prime gold players pack is going to have six rares, 12 players, uh, and including one 82 or above. So the odds here are pretty good for us to just get an 83, 84 rated. And because it's the start of FIFA 22, we might get some... Ah, see, I was actually building it up there to get something good. But we got something... This is probably going to be the worst pack that we can get. So I'm going to show you can still you know, make coins here. I've got a duplicate there. I'm going to just quickly run through these and see if there's anything that I think would sell for more. Uh, a play like this might sell for more based on SBC. So 10,000 is the max by note. So no, he's not going for more. This is, yeah, this is pretty much the worst that you can get. If you wanted to discard all of this, you're going to get most of your coins back. But what I recommend you do is just lazy list your items. And this is key for all of the SBCs going forward. So please make sure you do this. Double check what is the going price for this card. So what's the lowest buy now in the last, like let's say 10 minutes. So 950 coins. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna put 950 coins as your max buy now for one hour. Now, not all of them are gonna sell every single hour. So you're gonna to have to keep relisting them. You can use a mobile app for that or you can just be on the console and keep relisting. You're gonna do this for absolutely every player as well. Um, and what it is about laser listing, so you might see there, there's one there for 800. 
Um, there's probably going to be some for 850, but if you want, you can put them up for like 900, and uh, trust me, they will get bought. A lot of people are completing SBCs right now, so they're not really fussed about 50 or 100 extra coins. They just want to complete SBCs as fast as possible because they have that 10 hour game limit. The next SBC, guys, is going to be six of the best. Now, as you can see, I've completed it, and I know you're thinking, oh, this is just a terrible, a terrible effort for this video, but um, I didn't want to create a whole new account just to show you guys one SBC. Um, I actually completed to this SBC with players in my club. Now, if you've got players in your club, you've got untradeables, you've got players that you've packed, you're going to get that plus one chemistry boost. And this is really, really easy. Um, 85 chemistry, 75 rating overall. So basically just gold players minimum. You might even, you could even chuck some uh, silver players in there as well. Countries, regions, exactly six. And you just need to make sure you look at these requirements. They're dead easy. Um, if, as long as you've got about 30, 40, maybe even 50 players in your club, you'll be able to complete this. And you're going to get a gold players pack in return which works out to be a 12 and a half k pack uh, and it costs you about six thousand coins if you actually just bought players off the market so you're getting double the return for how much you put into the pack you get in return for six of the best so sbc number three is going to be around the world and as i'm recording this i've only just noticed this is going to be the third one out of the group of four now i haven't intentionally done this i just looked at the best sbcs individually for the packs that you get in return now obviously if you complete this around the world SBC then it's probably a good idea to just go and complete the final four which isn't going to be an amazing value because I've already like gone through these and it, it, this one didn't come up but you do get the group reward which is going to be a rare mega pack which is a 55k pack so individually the final four isn't going to be fantastic um, but just for the group reward, it will be just to, you know, take that into consideration. So let's have a look at around the world. So I've gone ahead and bought all of these players and somehow just complete an objective. Um, and they're all from the Premier League. And I was looking at this SBC online. I was like, oh my God. So there's, there's got to be a few players in here that are really expensive. And they're not really. There's there's no stupidly expensive players. Um, the ones, believe it or not, that could be price fixed easiest are probably the non-rares. Like the rares here are going to remain pretty cheap. So we've got Fabianski, we've got Coleman, we've got Soyonku, we've got Bailly, we've got Matip, Johnny, Decore, uh, Ruben Neves, Rodriguez, Jimenez, Pablo Fornells, and back to Fabianski. So it's a very, very cheap team. Let's run through the uh, prices real quick. 1,000 coins, 650, 1,400, 900, 1,200, 600, 900, 1,000. First owner for, for Rodriguez, but I think he was about 1,000 coins anyway. He's not really usable in-game because he's only got 53 pace. So he's only good for SBCs, really. Um, and then we've got uh, Jimenez there for 1,200 coins and Pablo Fornells for 850. So yeah. Most of the players there come to, you know, about a thousand coins, some just above. I think it's Soyonku that was the most expensive, but there are most, you know, there are fluctuations every single day using these SPC players. You know, when you do your SPC, he might cost only 1,200 coins, but then Bailly costs 1,400 coins. It's just the way it is. So you're going to do this one for about, well, about 15,000 coins um, at the absolute most. So there's 11 players, average about 1,000 coins. It's probably between 11 and 15,000 coins, 15 at the absolute most. Now, in return for this, you're going to get a 50,000 coin pack, which is called a rare players pack, which is 12 players, all of them rare. Now, this one, you know, you can lose coins if you get absolutely nothing, but the odds of you getting something here is so much higher that it's worth completing. So let's go ahead and open up our pack. Um, if we're gonna, yeah, so we've got, you know, we've got a guaranteed um, 83 plus rare player. So, I mean, that's something at the start of FIFA, hopefully it's gonna be one that's worth at least 10 to 15,000 coins maybe. And we have a Modric. There you go. So 87 rated Modric. It wouldn't surprise me if he's not that expensive. The high rated players like Cruz, Modric, those types that are going to be good for SBCs aren't actually selling for that much. But anyway, let's have a look. So we've got about 13, well, 12,000 coins. I reckon I could sell him for quite comfortably. 12 to 13,000 coins for Modric. Got Vizca here as well. Probably about 1,200 coins. Politano. He might be good for SBCs and stuff. Uh, Carlos Sola. Um, he's actually got some decent stats there I used them in a draft he was all right Camavinga now this one is yeah one of those low rated but because he's uh from Real Madrid got those good links he sells sells for something more we've got Guendouzi as well I mean his stats are okay but he's not that expensive we've got Jimenez as well didn't even see him at first 
2000 roughly, uh, so 84 rated. So if we add up all of this pack, I reckon what have I got? 20,000 coins, 20, 22, 23,000 coins. And all I paid for that SPC was about 11 to 15,000 coins. I think maybe yeah, about 11,000 coins. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna list up all these cards because I don't, actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep Modric because I've actually got a Tony Cruz here and Cruz is also really cheap right now. You know, if there's an SBC like a player a month and it requires some high rated uh, cards to complete an SBC, although it might take a week or so for this to happen, I don't really wanna sell these players uh, for really cheap when I know that they could, they could double literally over the next week. So I'm gonna keep these two players as investments and sell the rest inside the pack like Kamavinga. I think there's a possibility that he could keep going down because he's just so low rated. I may as well sell him whilst I know he's selling for a lot of coins. And my God, I have just found out this player here, Mousa, is that how you say his name? He is so expensive, and I think it's because of all these advanced SPCs. The Belgium League is like really good for completing SPCs, which requires like different leagues, different nationalities, and just strong links and stuff like that. So this player is selling for a lot of coins. 9,200 is the max by now. 9,4. Let's see what the absolute lowest uh, bin is. So we've got 9,000 there. 9,000. It might be different on PlayStation or Xbox, but that is unbelievable. I did not expect that. So I'm going to probably list him up for like... 8-8 eight, eight or something like that. He should sell pretty quickly. So at this point, guys, you should have three out of the four done. As I said, you know, complete the final four. You're going to get the pack here, an Electrum Players Pack, which is going to be probably what you spend on this final four. But then you're also going to get that rare Mega Pack in return. Now, the next SBC I've got is going to be Seven League Boots, which I think is in here. Yes, it is. Let's have a look at this. So this is the team that I've got for Seven League Boots. Um, and the players that are most expensive are going to be Barnes, top left corner. And the reason why is because he's actually quite usable in game. He's non-rare as well. So 86 pace, 81 dribbling, four star weak foot. He's got some okay stats at the start of the game. So, you know, in a, in a couple of weeks, he probably won't be that expensive. I actually paid 2,300 coins. Again, fluctuations throughout the day, people price fixing things. That's why I've had to pay more. Now, the really expensive players are going to be Cabasea, there's no replacement for this player. You have to go for this player as a Belgium uh, centre back from the Premier League. Um, the reason why is because of you know he links with certain players. You have to go for him. Now, when it comes to some of the other players from the Belgium League, we'll have a look in a second. So we've got Michel. He's also a very expensive one, three thousand four hundred. And this player here, fifteen hundred coins. They're fluctuating a lot. But when it comes to the goalkeeper, this is where people may get pushed into buying a certain goalkeeper instead of just buying the exact players I'm gonna show you. What you wanna do when you search for a player, let's go to the transfer market for example, look for a goalkeeper, go to the Belgium league, and then put it as a quality gold and then set the maximum buy now, okay? Then you're gonna see which goalkeepers are really expensive. Now there is one, I think he's actually uh, a gold common, which everyone is paying so much coins for right now. He's price fixed to the absolute max. It's gonna be Van Kronbrug. Don't use this player in an SPC solution, just use Mignole because not only is he a rare player as well, but he's higher rated. He gets pretty much the same links, sometimes even better links. As you can see, we've got a perfect link here, same club and same nationality, same league. So obviously same league, same club, right? So let's have a look at the players I've gone for. We've gone for Mignolet, we've gone for Michel, we've got Bornau, we've got Cabasse, 4,000 coins I had to pay for him. Um, over the next week or so, he will get cheaper as more and more people complete this advanced SPC and less people are completing it. Pedro Leon, Cesc Fabregas, Montero, Harrison, Jose Callejon, George Molina, and Barnes. So overall, it's the defense that's really expensive and Barnes is a little bit more. Um, but yeah, you're still gonna get a, a good return here. So I've got this down as around 10,000 coins, but it depends what time of the day you complete it. It's currently the morning. If this was in the peak time in the evening, Cabasse would probably be closer to two to two and a half thousand coins and that would be the most expensive player and maybe Michelle as well. So what you're gonna get in return, let's have a look. At the pack in return, you get a Prime Electrum's Players Pack. I've actually forgotten what's inside this pack. We'll read it out in a second. Um, but Seven League Boots is, I put it down as a 15 to 20,000 coin pack. Now, I don't think you can actually buy this pack from the store, so I don't know the exact value, but it includes six gold, six silver, six rares, including 180 overall uh, player guaranteed. Now, the thing is, 
don't discount the silver players. Silver players are still pretty good. Uh, some of them are very expensive still. Uh, that's going to be a villa, which we use in our first SPC. So we didn't get anything of high value in this pack by the looks of things unless... Oh, there we go. So we actually get an inform Garcia. Now, the thing is, he's probably not worth that much. But there's not many team in the week. So if there is an SPC that comes out... He may be quite valuable. He's 82 rated as well, which is not a low rating considering there's only one team of the week. Um, and also, let's have a look. So yeah, he's pretty much going for the discard value. So I'm not sure whether I should discard him or just keep him just in case. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send him to my transfer list for right now. Uh, but that's a pretty solid pull. Let's have a look at some of the silver players, see how much they go for. So that's probably like a thousand coins there. There's only one on the market here, but I don't know if it's going to be necessary. Um, silver players are really good for league SPCs, but we don't have any league SPCs yet. So you guys, if you don't need coins desperately, maybe send them to your club because they might come in valuable uh, very soon. Uh, but as of right now, you know, a lot of people are just price fixing these, but there's no real need for these players to be that expensive. Uh, so it's really hard to value those players. But I'm going to list up all of this and we'll get into the last SBC. So the fifth and final SBC that I recommend that you complete is going to be Give Me Five. It's going to be in the hybrid leagues again, which means that you're going to have two complete out of the four for the group. The pack you're going to get is a prime mixed players pack, which I have down as roughly 12 and a half to 15,000 coins, but it's a pretty easy one to complete this SPC. Um, and if you want to go ahead and complete the other two SPCs to complete the group, you're also going to get a rare mega pack, same as this one here. So you're going to get a 55k pack in return if you fancy going on and doing the others. So let's have a look at this SPC and how I've completed it. I've actually left two spots open because I need to buy those players and I use those players in the other SPC. So I had these preloaded. So Let's go ahead and complete that actually. And I'm going to take, um, I'm going to do exactly what I said. So we've got Cabasai. I can't not get this player. So unfortunately, I have to pay for this player. And yeah, he is stupidly expensive. So it looks like I'm going to be paying in the middle three thousands for this player. Um, so if you pack one of these, do not discard. Make sure you sell this player because he's massively important for all of these advanced SPCs. Now, for the actual goalkeeper, all I need to do is actually just go and do go and search for goalkeepers from the Belgium league, and I need it to be a uh, gold one. So let's go do that now. It's probably going to be Mignolet. So let's have a look. Bring it down to about thousand or nine fifty. There you go. So an eight hundred for a Mignolet, and we have completed this SPC. I hope league's exactly five. Have we got five leagues? Oh, we got exactly six. I've done this wrong. How have I done this wrong? Um. So if we've got six leagues. I don't need this Varmalen. I could just go for a centre-back from the Belgium League. So I've done this all wrong. Okay, centre-back. Well, not all wrong, but you're going to see me working it as we're here right now. So there we go. This should fix the issue. And we should have a full green bar. All done. Okay, so let's run through this. We've got 80 uh, chemistry needed. We've got 87 overall, so this is a breeze. Let's have a look at the prices I've paid for these players. We've got 800 coins for Mignolet. We've got 900 for Traore, 1900 for Delate. Delete, Delate. Uh, Kabasai is the big one. Then we've got 450 for Ruben Duarte. Doku, Nangolan's cheap as well, 800 coins. Fatty is 1000. Acosta, 800. Ladero, 700. And Ru Diaz is also 700. For Marlon, we didn't actually need him, which is uh, good because he was very expensive. So let's just list him up for pretty much what I bought for him. And uh, let's send this SPC in and get our back. Uh, our pack in return so what's going to be inside this pack it's going to be 12 players four from gold four from silver four from bronze and six rares so hopefully we don't get any bronze rares and we get all our rares in the golds and silvers that would be nice and it looks like our biggest player is going to be a a uh silver so that's not actually you know what the non-rare golds seem to go for the most amount of coins so let's have a look at some of the the players we got so 600 for him and then we've got Johnny here, who's going to be about a thousand or just under a thousand. So let's set up for 900 coins. What about Terrier, um, 800 coins again. Unfortunately, doesn't look like we've got any big SBC players uh, for the non res. And we've got another Watford player here. So yeah, about 650 we'll list up for. Um, we could go for 700 if we wanted. Um, but yeah, what about the silver players? Silver player prices are irrelevant. Bronze players uh, prices are irrelevant because people just aren't using them. So I'm going to send them to my club and I can use them for any upcoming SPCs, uh, marking matchups, 
um, and yeah, just see what happens. So I'm going to send them to the club. So guys, that is going to be the top five SBCs that you should be completing from the advanced SBCs. If you didn't really fancy doing every single one of them, that is the order that I recommend completing them in. Um, if you're completing them with barely any coins, obviously sell what you get in your pack straight away. Um, I've managed to, well, what I've done is I've, I've actually kept a lot of the players or I've listed them up for a lazy price. Obviously our biggest pull there was a Modric. Where is Modric? He's hiding somewhere there he is and we also got a team of the week as well so out of all of those SBCs I think I made about 30,000 coins profit which is actually believe it or not average like most of you guys will get about 30,000 coins profit by opening up all of these packs um, at the absolute worst you should break even um, obviously if you get lucky you could pack Ronaldo Messi an icon or something ridiculous uh, but generally speaking if you open up those five packs you're probably going to get something of high value an 86 and 87 88 rated in my case, I got a Modric. If you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please remember to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel before you leave. And I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to let me know in the comments how you got on. And yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.